Hi guys, story recaps here, today, I am going to entertain you with German psychological thriller film called, Good Night Mommy, spoilers ahead, enjoy and take care. A family in which a mother and two twins Lucas and Elias live together, they have recently relocated to a new home in the middle of the forest, close to a lake, mommy used to be a member of a choir that was pretty well known on local television. Lucas and Elias were playing hide and seek around their house one day, when the two realize their mother has returned home. They rush to greet her, but all they see is a woman with a bandage covering nearly her entire face. That woman is their mother, who has had cosmetic surgery on her face. Lucas and Elias are taken aback by this, but they nonetheless follow her orders. But there is something strange going on. Elias gets all of mommy's attention for no apparent reason. She only gives Elias food and drinks, only plays with Elias, and only responds to Elias's remarks. While Lucas goes unnoticed, because she is still healing, mommy establishes some additional regulations such as the need that the house be kept in full silence. There should be no guests, no animals, and no bringing in items from outside. The house curtains must always be closed, and kids are only permitted to play peacefully outside. Observing their mother's unusual behavior, the twins begin to think that their mother may not be the same person beneath her bandages. When Elias is misbehaving or disobedient, mommy is nasty and lashes out at him violently. The boys remark that their mother would never do such a thing, because their mother would not chastise them like way, Lucas and Elias are even more persuaded that mommy is not their mother. The boy's mother travels into the woods in only her underwear in a dream that the twins seem to share. She takes off all of her clothes and then unravels her bandages. Her head starts to twitch and whirl. The next day, Lucas and Elias purposefully cause havoc as an opposition. A squabble ensues, with the twins insisting on having their mother back. Their mother believes her children have gone insane, when Elias claims she isn't his mother. Mommy punishes and forces him to say ten times that she's his real mother, she also advises him to avoid speaking with Lucas, knowing that Mama intends to separate the two of them makes Elias very upset. It's been a few days now, Lucas and Elias still despise Mommy and want for the return of their real mothers. Mommy wants to meet them both later that day, and she claims she is no longer upset. Mommy enters the room with a new face that isn't covered in bandages, but even after comparing her to an old photo of her mother, Lucas and Elias aren't convinced she is his mother, as an apology for what happened previously. Mommy offers a boomerang, Elias begs Mama for permission to play boomerang outside the house right away, the boys flee for their life as soon as Mommy unlocks the rear door. They make their way into town and eventually find an old church where they beg for the priest, the priest promises to take them to the police station to report the imposter impersonating their mother, but he deceives them and returns them home, the priest urges the mother to explain herself, but she only mumbles something about how terrible things have been since the accident and separation, Mommy returns inside but is unable to find Elias or Lucas, eventually, she gives up and cries herself to sleep, Lucas and Elias do something to Mommy the same night, she wakes up to the sight of her twins wearing their homemade goblin masks, and the reality that she is bound to her bed, she is tethered by the twins, making it difficult for her to escape, at this point, Lucas and Elias begin to question about their biological mother's whereabouts, when she insists on being their mother, Lucas and Elias start comparing their true mother's photo to mommy's. They are fighting because Elias has begun to believe that mommy is their biological mother, while Lucas is adamant that she is not. When mommy is alone with Elias, she tries to persuade him that she is his biological mother and encourages him to let her go. Elias begins to cut her feet loose slowly, but is stopped when Lucas returns and inquires as to what he is doing. He shows how quickly mommy's birthmark on her face can be removed. Mommy claims that it was removed during surgery, but Elias doesn't believe her and hits her, at that point, Lucas and Elias inquire about his mother's location once more. While hurting her in unusual ways, they torture her to the point of insanity. Mommy has been confined to her bed for days, she defecates in her bed. To change the bedding, the twins temporarily freed her from her restraints. Mommy takes advantage of the situation right away to flee. The twins, on the other hand, have put up a booby trap that leads her to fall and knock her out. The woman is plastered to the living room floor when she wakes up. Elias begins to set fire to the house in order to force her to tell them the truth about their mother. In a last-ditch effort to save her life, Mommy assures Elias that if he frees her, she'll play along, she'll act as if Lucas is alive again, making him whatever he wants for breakfast. She then breaks down in tears as she tells Elias that Lucas' death was not his fault, and she begs him to release her so they can both move on from the tragedy. This is the point at which everything is revealed. Lucas was no longer alive. Because Elias is unable to accept his other half's death, Lucas has only been a hallucination as a result of dissociative identity disorder. Mommy first goes along with Elias, pretending that Lucas is still alive. Lucas is real to Elias, but not to Mommy. Elias then challenges her to prove her paternity by informing him what Lucas is up to. 
Lucas is holding a torch near the curtain, but the mother is definitely not blind. Elias is convinced that his biological mother has seen Lucas. He then takes Lucas' torch and sets the curtain on fire. The flames engulf the entire living room. It quickly engulfs mommy in flames. She perishes in a fire. The firefighters finally put out the fire, but they arrive too late to save mommy. The film's final shot shows Elias and Lucas strolling through a cornfield and emerging with their mother, all three of them smiling and embracing. And with that, the film Goodnight Mommy comes to a close. Here's where the explanation comes in. The lady who lives there is the true mother. She isn't a con artist with bad motives. A nice family in a lovely home was shattered by a divorce and the loss of a son. She's attempting to make a new start, and she's doing so by undergoing plastic surgery. Mommy also sold the previous house and moved to a new location as part of the fresh start. Mommy first goes along with Elias, pretending that Lucas is still alive, but she's had enough of it. She even threatens and beats Elias, telling him to stop talking to his deceased brother. Finally, at the conclusion of the film, we see this beautiful family portrait disintegrate into ashes. It's evident that this frame is a mockery of how things may have ended out if Lucas hadn't died in the accident. After the fire, Elias' whereabouts are unknown. Thank you so much for watching, subscribe our channel for daily dose of entertainment.